Hi guys, this is Kareen, and today my tutorial is gonna be about transplanting sunflowers. I'm an avid sunflower grower every year, and every year I find different ways to grow my batch, my crop, bigger and stronger. So I am gonna get into how to properly transplant sunflowers that are started from a container into the soil, into the yard. But first I wanted to show you some of the um, things that I have here, supplies if you will. So of course you need some gardening gloves. I like the ones that have rubber on them so that way you don't have to worry about getting the glove wet. Um, some plant food because you definitely want to feed the plant after you put it through the shock of being transplanted from its first home to its last home. And of course these are the plants that we'll be transplanting today. You want to have a little shovel to help dig out the soil. And for me personally, I like to have garden soil that is already enriched. And of course a watering can because again immediately after doing the transplant you want to go ahead and water in the soil so that kind of helps it adjust to its new surroundings so stay tuned i hope you enjoy my tutorial i find the best way to successfully grow sunflowers is to start them off in containers i use the solo cups with some potting soil and then once they get to about anywhere from two to four inches in height, it's a good time to transplant them. And the thing with sunflowers is the root, um, it kind of grows like and sp like spiders out. So you want to make sure the best way to transplant without what they call root shock is you're pretty much going to transplant the entire bulb. So you want to dig a hole about two inches to three inches deep. So there's space underneath and around the, um, the root. What I like to do in addition to digging out two to three inches and to prevent the root transplant or shock that they talk about is to have some soil that's already good for in-ground use. And I like using miracle Grow and Scott's products. Um, I seem to have very good success with them in planting and having beautiful flowers yield from it. So again, I want to dig out two to three inches, put some uh, enriched soil, potting soil, in case the pH balance of the soil is not all that great. Now, when you take it out, you can see, as I was mentioning to you, the roots, this tiny flower, all these roots, there's no way to take this out without tearing the roots apart. And this is what we wanna avoid is it having any kind of shock because that will kill the flower. And just kind of gently place it inside the hole that you've dug. And then rather than put the soil that I just removed around it. I, again, I try to put some of the enriched soil, the in-ground potting soil that's nutrient rich and kind of just place that around there. And then I press it in firmly. Also giving a little bit of room for some reservoir for watering. And usually I only plant one seed at a time, but it looks like one of the seeds got away from me. And so, you want to have one sunflower seed per planting because it allows the plant to grow taller, bigger, stronger because the roots are allowed to spread more when it's just one. But there's no harm done in, let me put this over here, there's no harm done in um, having more than one in a potting. But again, rule of thumb is usually one. So here you'll see with this one in particular, I only have one in the cup. So again, made my hole, put a little bit of enriched in-ground potting soil, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Again, this is to give the room to grow easily. And then I kind of work this out of the solo cup. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, oh, I didn't mention it before, but in all my solo cups, I always puncture holes in the bottom for drainage. So that way, it doesn't, you know, get mold or mildew or any of that because the water has to have somewhere to go and it needs to aerate. So now 
placing this into the hole that I've dug. The next thing that you want to do is water it in a bit because you don't want to just leave it dry. You want to feed it. And Scott usually is, uh, miracle Grow is usually one of my go-to. I'm finding this plant food's pretty good as well. So I like to put that in some water, dilute it in my watering can, which I have nearby because I am filming this by myself. So I'm trying to make sure I have everything near me and just kind of water in around the soil and grow. So in a couple of weeks, we'll start to see a little bit more height. The blooming time for this is about 80 days. So uh, stay tuned to my YouTube channel. And what will happen is as these start to grow taller, you will definitely see some amazing, amazing sunflowers. Now I'm just gonna pan, since I am recording this on my own, I'm just gonna pan over here so you can see the ones that I've already transplanted. These are all, these ones that are all on the side are ones that I've transplanted um, within the last two, three weeks. They all started off in solo cups and then every couple of days I would come out here and just um, transplant them into the soil and then just continue to water them. And you know, the sun does everything else. So there's really not a whole lot to do, but this is uh, my first tutorial about my sunflower journey. I've, I've grown them every year for the past three years. And I just recently started transplanting them because I find that they take more, um, they grow more strong when they have a better foundation starting off in a solo cup with no um, effects of insects or pH imbalance in the soil and then from there they kind of just take off so this is Kareen thank you for watching my tutorial on how to transplant sunflowers <laughs>